This podcast is brought to you by Cameron Parker and Carlin Parker. Some material is for a mature audience. Sit back and enjoy. He, he, he is weak as 3DL this world. He is. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I wasn't ready for that one. Welcome back to the Parker's Couch. I know y'all missed us. Your favorite three brothers. We've been gone for a week, but we're back. How y'all doing, brothers? Well, I'm doing well. You know, I'm still the most handsome, the most debonair. Of course, I'm doing well. I was about to check your post because that wasn't the first thing that you said. (laughs) I wouldn't have made it. I'm doing well. The Alzheimer's is kicking in. Yeah. It's kicking in. No, it's not kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all me speaking. All you. Well, what about you, Carlin? Carlin has had a long day today, but I am better now that I'm with my brothers. Oh, isn't that so great? Fine. You the know, middle brother is still fun. trying to find love. Isn't that so sweet? I know, you know, the middle child syndrome. I want somebody to love me, please. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Next uh, subject, please. Next. Next subject, please. What are y'all binging right now? I'm just curious because I've been binging Vikings. I'm in my Viking mode. Like, it's been only thing I've been playing on my Netflix. I'm in the last season. Radner, Lothbrook, Bjorn, Ironside, Ivar, Boneless. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my Vikings. I realize I think I am a Viking at heart. Because you need a past life regression. Yeah. Something happened during that time period with you, and I'm very interested interested in knowing what it was. Cameron, please, you better watch some Shaka Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> Negro. We ain't Maybe I need to w- read Willow Smith's book, her, 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 her um, book. It's like a black shell maiden because the shell maidens back with the Vikings, but it has an African slant and African who becomes a shell maiden and is fighting with the black with the Vikings or something. It's kind of interesting. We need we need to incorporate some of that more. Is that it, historically correct or is that the no, it's, it's fantasy? Out of here. Okay. Uh, but watch, watch some Shaka Zulu. You won't be watching that match no more. Why well, need to watch Shaka Zulu again? <laughs> I gotta see Shaka because you black. <sighs> but I can't, I can't watch my Vikings in a joy because the Vikings at heart they never belong to like a homeland, so they always were going. And I, I feel like that because I'm ready for my next adventure already. So I'm like, okay, where's where's the next place to conquer? They, they, they didn't have a homeland because they were from the Caucasus Mountains. Oh Lord, see, let's let's <laughs> provide. <laughs> uh, Next subject. Don't let Odin, Odin come and strike the gods. Odin yes. and Thor and Freya. My God, <laughs> get that mess out of here! You don't relate to that. Oh my God! Uh-huh. The it's just oh, it's so entertaining though. The Vikings that that just the fights and. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it that that appeals to me with that. Mm-hmm. But I just I like that time period of a show. You were Scandinavian in a past life. No, I ain't saying all that. I was definitely not Scandinavian, and I'm not gonna be living like they flip now. Don't get me wrong. I like watching it on TV, but I ain't trying to be anything a part of that lifestyle now. Of how they were doing <laughs> it. Now that's a whole different story. Now that ain't happening. Mm-mm-mm. But anyway, since y'all are hate on my mic, question, I'm gonna answer your question. Thank you, brother. I am binging Palm Royale and the girls on the bus or something like that. On, on oh yeah, that one. Black. That one didn't appeal to me. Is it okay? It's actually good. It's it's, it's caught my attention. And of course, you know I'm watching BMF every week. Well, yeah, we can't binge it because it's not out. So, yeah, you know, week by week. Yeah, of course. week by week basis. 
So we so we get the black in. What about you, Shaka Zulu? It's all black every day over here. <laughs> Under that Palm Royale, or I don't know what the heck that mess. I Palm Royale's good. I watch it at work actually. I watch a little BMF, but I I mean I don't I don't get to watch a whole lot of a lot of TV. I, we know you don't. I'm always working. It's a busy answer email. <laughs> so important. He's like, I'll be there in a minute. I'm writing this last email. I, I'm writing the last email at 8 o'clock. Negro, it is almost 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, but anyway, my brother, so macho. Uh, right. I love you all. Now that that's over, let's get into some hoops, y'all. I've been waiting to talk some hoops with y'all because we haven't, you know, we've been messaging here and there, but we ain't really got to talk over these last couple of weeks of what's going on. But let's start off in the NBA. First round is almost complete. The Lakers. Oh, God. Do we have to start there? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, what are they going to do? Is this LeBron? Is he? Is he? Should he play another season? Yeah, I want him to have another a real farewell season. Well, I would say, or is, with next season, should that be his last? This should have been his last. Should have been actually about three years ago. Should have been his last. <laughs> <laughs> after they won that that Mickey Mouse championship. Yeah, after he got that Mickey Mouse championship, he should have rode off into the sunset. I agree. The game is the game has surpassed LeBron. I, I mean, he still puts up good stats and whatnot, but right if you if you look at his total game, though he he can't guard like he used to. He can guard in spurts, but you know he's always looking for a chase down block or some some kind of mess like that. But he's been get, getting dunked on with regularity. He just been away Jamal Murray, Hebert, and over his head. Everybody is posterizing him. I, I, you know, I kind of feel sorry for him. You know, it, he was getting interviewed the other night, and I was I looked on the TV and I said, "Man, who is that old man on TV?" And it was him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> bald, gray bearded, and just looking old. Yeah. Know? Between he and KD, I mean, I don't know what's going on with the head. Oh, we're going to get to him. We're going to get to him in a minute. Well, KD is an, another story. But for for LeBron, it's, you know, it's just a lot of miles on his body. And, you know, I mean, he he's old, man. He, he, yeah. he 40 in December. Uh, just think about that. Did you, you kind of, did y'all watch the Club Shay Shay and, and Charles Barkley convo? Oh, no, I did not. No, when was that? It was just that they just did it like yesterday or the day before. I listened to it today. It was, I enjoyed it. I, it was like a, a cool combo. But you kind of like where Barkley, whenever he was talking about that, you know, and Shay, and Shannon asked him, like, you know, when you think he should retire or what is his thoughts around that? And you could tell he wanted to say, like, he should have already retired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was just like, I hate to see somebody like go out he started talking about mike and i mean he just started talking about so many people just going out ewan and all these different people who waited kind of too long they, they and just long. yeah did yeah. that extra and talk about himself he was like he should have stopped like two or three years before that rocket stint was terrible he did because he was like he was like i was terrible <laughs> He was like, I was yeah. ter- like, I was in your head. You're thinking you can still do this, and he was like, "Oh, every- you anybody is good whenever you're playing against the air." And you get out there <laughs> against the 25 year olds, all them people being like, "I've been watching you all my life, and now I'm ready to bust you up to give it the business." Yeah, I saw an article. It was good. I'm glad you asked that question. I saw an article that said the LeBron area of the NBA is over. Like. With him, you know, KD and Steph, yeah. like really mm-hmm. challenged you for you know the top of the crowd. I said, "Oh man, that's that's pretty much true." But that's what I'm talking about, yeah, hey, Carla, you're right. It's it's I over. agree. But what what befuddled me with the Lakers 
they led 70% of the series, but still find a way to lose. Yeah, they were win- <laughs> like they they won like just about every half, didn't they? Yeah, it's it's, it's crazy. Yeah, that that was just for theatrics. I think, yeah, the Nuggets was like playing with like a cat with a little with a mouth or something, with a, a ball of yarn. That was for theatrics. It's the serving energy. Yeah, and and the NBA, somebody said something to him and said, hey, hey, guys. Uh-uh. uh uh-uh. Hey, guys, make it look good. Not conspiracy theorists. <laughs> Adam Silver on line one. That last game, oh gosh. <laughs> Make it look good. <laughs> that last game, how fragile is AD still? I was still trying to figure out how he got hurt. And that's why I said, "Make it look good." Did you see that mess? Like Michael and, Porter Jr. just like barely tapped him. It seemed like. And Michael Porter Jr. I mean, is two twenty-five. It ain't like. <laughs> Ain't like he's a big dude, you know. You got LeBron on his last leg now. Got to carry the load again. Like it's elder, it's elder abuse. That's why I want him out. It's elder did, abuse. Did you see how he he really turned his ankle and then he yeah. like gritted his face and it, just said, mm, and then started walking. It started going right. Yes, that's it. Some people are just different. He's a cyborg. Something <laughs> Some people are just different. Yeah. It, uh, and uh, he, he he is weak as three day old dishwater. He is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> He's just weak, man. I am dead. I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, on the other hand, I am now, I, I text y'all in the chat. Yes, I got that text message. And we, man, it's my favorite. We all are. That's my favorite player now. Like, Did y'all see that it, photo? Did y'all see that photo with him beside MJ? That's, that's, that's his son. That. You ain't telling me nothing. Oh, my that is goodness. his child. That's his MJ son. needs to explain something to us. That is MJ reincarnated. Yeah, he and Jimmy Butler. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Butler, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, not MJ and Jimmy had a love child. <laughs> <laughs> but the way, uh, particularly that last game, the second half of that game when they completed, oh, yeah. Harrison is it to get swept for the Suns anyway. Or gave them boys a 40 ball. Oh. Yes. Oh, and then that dunk. Oh my god. That oh and he he had a hurt ankle or hurt something. Something was both his ankles. Yes. And he still flying through the sky like that. Busting him up ridiculous. Turn around, post up moves, pulling up through like his game, he has everything. Everything. That was one thing our legs was talking about. He's you know, he said he thought he was he was going to be like one year away from one to two years away from where he is now. Cause he's complete. Like he's got yeah. every shot in the game. Yep. From, you know, long range, anything in the mid, mid range, mid post, he's got a turn around. He's got a float game and then he's taking it to the rim and on top of you. Like with it, authority, and he could go yeah. either way. He could go left, right. It don't. I mean, he's complete. What I love about him is he got that dog in him. Like he wants to oh. embarrass you. <laughs> it's his mission to have you on a poster, and um, I gotta respect um, the guy. Absolutely, he has no shame in in just embarrassing you out there. Yeah, and. T- Jump the whole time. Now I know we always like made the MJ comparisons, and Kobe. I you know I saw it in Kobe. Yeah. What I see in in Ant Man here, this is it's like that excitement I felt for MJ that got me into basketball. 
that I have been missing. And he gave me that because it's not even just on the court. Also, like, he's off probably, the court. Just he's his, off the court, yeah. Yeah, like his personality, the smile, personality. just the yeah. lightheartedness, everything, and didn't have that killer instinct at the same time. I don't know. He just but, he he definitely has that engaging total package. And I'm like, I'm buying a ticket to see you. Net, he, net, uh, he's he's a, the he's face it. of the league. He needs to be the face of the league. That tripping. He won't be the face of the league. No, he's a Minnesota. It, yeah. He's not in the one, he's not in the right market. And then the other thing is, you know, he's an Atlanta guy with some Atlanta swank. <laughs> and he, he's, he's like got a titty little, bar. Yeah. He's got a little bit of the potty mouth. Oh, he does. Like, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. They would have to, you know, you know, make them a little bit more sophisticated for them to be a be a part of a uh, face the face of the league. You know, that's a fair point. MJ, he was like, he was a businessman. You know, his well, his mother made him that way. Anyway, his mother ran. That was that was the reason why he had the business acumen that he did. But <clears throat> you know, he was wearing the three piece suits and. You know, he had his swag on the court, but off the court, you know, he he was very professional and right. He he articulated himself well in the interviews and, and whatnot. Now, yeah, he was cussing them cats out on the on the on the floor and maybe in the locker room, but during during interviews, he was polished. He was polished. He yeah. wasn't. But what Ant Man is giving us right now. You know, Ant Man is he's giving that Atlanta swing uh, swag. He is the he is the new age though. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's definitely I prefer yeah. the urban. Give me the urban. Get I understand MJ he's 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 the master marketer and all that good stuff and kissing the white people's rings and stuff. But I prefer give me urban all day, every day. Well, the the problem with that, Carl, and you can't be urban in the white man's when the white I man, know. you know, so if he's if he wants to be the face of the league, he would have to play that game, and that's just yeah, that's just the way it is. It's the name of the game, I know. Yeah, but I'm with you. I like him. I like him real. Yeah, we like yeah. him real. I like him real. He's he's basically he's MJ's game. With um, AIs, yes, kind of swag. And, That's what I was thinking AI type swag. Yeah, you know, because AI, true. he didn't bow Fucking down the yep. to the system form at all. That's a good and, mix. Yeah, yeah. So on the other on the other end of the floor, oh, what we gotta say about an old man that don't brush his head? Don't put on lotion. <laughs> Always just so just out, just mad all the time, Mister K. Got the man. What the man with why, the Why he be mad all the time? But yet he he get out there and be soft as cotton. That's what I'm trying. Oh. Did he even score a point in that fourth quarter? Did he shoot a shot? I'm like, the game is on the line right now. Where are you? And they're going to complain about they had me standing in the corner or something like the offense and how well. I'm like, no, he ain't out here making excuses. Yeah. Oh, folks, he's seven foot tall. You can go wherever you want to on that floor. Okay. Okay. I mean, he's KD. He he could take over the game and say, look here, give me the ball. Everybody get out of the way. Let me do my thing. I'm sure that's what I was looking for. I'm shooting 70% from the field. Can't nobody out here stop me. Let me let me go get mine. Y'all ride my coattail. That just showed me something about his legacy, like for me. I'm like, oh, okay. You honestly just will not be that guy. Like it's hmm. it, it, that's just the rap. Like you you got swept. You didn't put anybody on your back. You you just like lay back. I was disappointed. Oh yeah, I'm thoroughly disappointed. And then he gonna ride another man's. He, he's riding Ant. 
jock after he done <laughs> he done blitzed him before them bust him up <laughs> wide open. <laughs> and and the, and book over there ready to fight. Right. And Booker was was coming alive. Yeah, but yeah, because Book he giving them forty nine. Yep. He, and Bradley Bill was sorry. Okay, oh, he oh, ain't doing up. It was just it was that was so it was terrible. But I, on the other hand, I I really can't blame them three. It's a poorly constructed roster. They don't have very a, poorly. Very they don't constructed. Right, they don't have any size. They're paying those guys, three guys, $50 million a year. Who else is going to be able to? They they sacrifice the rest of their roster just for those three. It yeah, didn't make any sense. $150 million in three guys? What you going to get? If poor Nurkic. They, they, remember, remember, me and Carl is watching uh, Nurkic. Which say, what did you say about a brother? He can't. He can't he jump over what? A phone, a phone book. No. <laughs> he can't get off his tippy toes. I was like, Nurkic <laughs> has absolutely no lift whatsoever. And he, he can't jump over a quarter. It used to be decent, but he, yeah. he, his best years have, have gone by. They definitely have. I, yeah. I, I yeah, saw I just, one comment. I just feel, oh, go ahead. I just feel that their approach, I think, was it had to be that we're going to outscore you because it could be anything else. The way this team was constructed, they had no, like you said, no size, no defense whatsoever. So they literally thought right. we can outscore you with three guys. And yeah, sorry, yeah, that's not going to happen. So, and and that's I'm going to tell you, man, a point guard changes a whole lot. It does. That's what changed Boston. They got a real point guard. You know, they, they got right. Drew and and mm-hmm. Derek White over there. Um, oh, Derek White is playing out of his mind right now, too. And and Drew, you know, he lays back and sacrifices for Oh, the yeah. But he's the one that'll say, look, Jalen's hot right now. Tatum, go somewhere. Right. <laughs> yeah. He would. Yeah, MJ. But you know, before that, them guys were just fighting over who was going to get the shot. That's very true. That's yeah, true. and that's that's what uh, Phoenix is doing right now. Phoenix. And Phoenix is like, look, we don't need a real point guard. Like, yeah. I don't I understand that philosophy. Y'all should have kept Chris Paul or somebody around. Hey. Somebody around. Chris. Hey, somebody. Yeah. Oh, made no sense. I saw one comment that I just had to sit down and be rolling. They were like, "Oh, that's like, yeah, KD don't it, it, don't brush his head. That's why his mind is all over the place." Oh, I'm um, a good agreement. I was like, <laughs> 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 "Oh, do wow. KD, KD like that?" But the man, internet is still undefeated. <laughs> he's making all that money. He's making fifty th- fifty million dollars a year, and he he can't find a barber. He ought to be a big That's what I'm saying. He, he, can, he needs to do better. Why does he have that big ass ball spot right there in his head? Like we all see this, KD. Just go ahead and let it go, Daddy. Yo. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Oh. Yeah. He what looks a mess. Like, oh, he looks like. <laughs> all right. He looks like he's on the house. The house. I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving this subject right now because y'all <laughs> y'all are going in. What about OKC? I, I see people in my office that look better than that, and they don't got well, nowhere to stay. He's still going. Why? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what about OKC? Can they make some noise? They completed yeah. their old old sweep here. Uh, who do they play? Who, who do they play next round? Oh, the Lakers. Uh, the winner Clippers, between the Clippers, Clippers and, Mavs. and the Mavs. Yeah, Clippers and Mavs winner. They they didn't play anybody in the first round, so I I had to wait to the second. <laughs> it's TBD to be determined because they had a bye in the first round. Uh, but I will say I like the uh, you know, the moxie from the young guys. You know they they did. 
They did handle business, you know. They did. Shay yeah. uh, Gil is after is he's a he leader. The, that's another one. That's a problem. He is problem. good, and he's got yeah. everything. He's got every shot in his bag too. But the the biggest thing I, I think about him is nobody can speed him up. If you watch him play, man, he plays yeah. that pace. always under control. Yep, always control and he's got the same demeanor the whole time man if he's cooking you or not that's so true you can't read him and and the way he changes pace is like crazy oh yeah yeah like it's like he's like impossible to guard like i don't know how you stick with him yeah he's uh he's the truth man he is definitely the truth and and the other you know they they got him Got a couple cats over there. That's, they do. They deep. got nice young. They're, super, they're very deep. And what I like about them is they're all so close. Like they are units. Yeah. Like they do like yeah. the, the pre- press conferences together. They know Shay's the leader, but Shay don't mind sharing it with everybody else. Like he tries to deflect, but they're like, no, this is our leader. He's our MVP. He's the man. Everybody, everybody knows their roles. Like their roles are defined. There's no, nobody's lost. <laughs> Nobody's trying to go out and be trying to go out and be the hero. They know who the yeah. hero is. So I love that about that team. Yeah, they I mean they they are stacked, man. They loaded. They're Who's, stacked, yes. Chad. And they're super young. Yeah, they got Chad. And, and I love the the, the dark skin Jalen Williams. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he be killing it. Jalen, what was he wearing the other night though? I mean, <laughs> Dark Vader or something the other night, but uh, anyway, he, he can That cat can hoop though. He, he can hoop. He really can. He plays with some fire. Uh, oh yeah, and it's gonna and be. Chet, this, this, well, go ahead, brother. That I was just saying in chat, the thin man. He's he he's tough too, man. Yeah, he is. He's tough. I like it. I like him, even even though he's, you know, light. But you know, he plays with a lot of heart, a lot of fire out there. But like you said, they're they're really close, close bunch. Yeah, I agree. Chip Chip surprised me in the playoffs. Like he he stepped it up. So yeah, I think this gonna be this 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 these next two rounds are gonna be really interested in the end of the West. I don't have a beat on anybody right about now. I think anybody can take yeah. it, really. It's, it is going to be good. We we don't know what's going to happen with the Clippers and the Mavs yet. And the Mavs uh, got the, the three to two lead. I picked the Mavs to uh, win. Mavs in six. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm feeling like the Mavs are going to win. Like, Kyrie, boy, Kyrie has been putting on the show. Kyrie has been killing it. But Kyrie always puts on the show. He does. Yeah. That's Kyrie, true. He he just dances to the beat of his own drum. But he uh, there's no denying the skill level that he has. Yeah, the talent, that that, that skill level, it it's undeniable. You yeah. know, it's a lot of you could say a lot of stuff about other things, but that oh, yeah. that part there's no denying his skill level. None whatsoever. No. I still be looking at Luca, and I'd be like, "How is he this effective?" I'm, conf- I just, it's the same thing. I'm not a fan of his game. I'm just not. I it's don't get it. Not for it's me. The same with Jokic, uh-huh. but uh, the the difference. I, what I don't like about Luca is that he takes a lot of bad shots. Oh and, God, yeah. You no, know, he'll hold the ball for twenty of the twenty four seconds. 20 seconds, yes. <laughs> and everybody's just like, oh! <laughs> look at that. Step back, horrible three. <laughs> and horrible half. shot. And he's been really off this series. Yeah. For the three-point right line, yeah. too. Yeah, he, he, he's like, I'm, like I'm, yes. this series from the yeah. fifth. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's too many wasted possessions, like you're saying, bro, Carl. Just too many of them for me to to get with him. Like it's, he's very frustrating to watch as a as a fan. 
<laughs> and he's slow. Man, he's slow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Super slow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Super uh, slow. And that's why, you know, that's why he takes all the shots because he holds the ball in his hand. He can't, he can't move that fast now. So he's going to walk the ball up. Hey, you, you got to catch that, bro. Yes. Uh, the other night, they started, they were making him push it. He could only play for like four minutes. Four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go out. <laughs> That's so true, guys. But I'm going to tell y'all who's balling on that team, though, that I did not expect to have an impact in the NBA, especially as a rookie. Not in the that NBA. That lively kid do. Um, what? What in the world? Yeah, he is where, going on. Where did that come from? Where, oh, what yeah. was Duke doing with him? I don't know. It's Duke. You know how college goes. It's Duke, and it's, yeah, it's college. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy is for real. You'll see some of these cats in college like like him. Average five points, and then getting getting the league, and they all of a sudden, hey, don't yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah. Nine in the league, huh? Exactly, and like and a great defender and everything. Like he's he plays hard for them. Yes, he's pivotal he for their success. Even at Duke, but mm-hmm. you know, just seeing him finish on the offensive end, though, now is you know, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. That, I was like, what? He got some offensive prowess. Where'd that come from? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What y'all think about this uh, Knicks and Philly series? I was just about to ask the same thing. We're on the same I, wavelength. Well, it, I mean, they're playing right now as we recording this, and I, I I expect the Knicks to close it out tonight, and they handling them right now. But this has been a great, it's been a great series. I think just for the NBA, and just this and the Knicks. I it is true. Whenever the Knicks are good, I feel like it's just better for the NBA. It's better. It is. It's a big. But the Garden is rocking, baby. It's a big market. Yeah. Yeah. Market. And what (laughs) what I like is just. Just seeing the intensity of it, and yes, and the fact that they're actually playing like real playoff basketball. Embiid yes. is Embiid is doing some nasty stuff out there to them boys. He is he, to be broke up too. Out. Yeah, but I'm talking about the fouls that he's committing out there. <laughs> <laughs> he's had in the face. He's hit about it in the face. At the top I mean, of the head, I mean, he would have been suspended two or three times for some of the stuff he's done. He kicking, you ain't lying. Yeah. He kicking people in the balls. He, he don't care what he's doing out there. I mean, he's doing all kinds of stuff, man. He he killed uh, Mitchell Robinson the other night. Oh gosh, yes, yes. he yes. murdered him. What did they say? What did they say? Like he's banned from the Empire State or something like that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's but, a fun series, and right now, but the Knicks, I, the Knicks are in that behind right now, and Embiid is the only man that has scored so far for the Sixers. Oh, Maxi is terrible. Maxi is. What, I don't know what's going on with him tonight. Well, what do y'all think about what them? What the guys are saying that Maxi is now the face of Philadelphia. Whew. Well, that's a tough one because Embiid is on the downside of his career. He's on the back nine. Both um, injuries. Um, <laughs> he's probably on the, he the, the back nine. hole right about now. <laughs> Quit golfing now. Uh, yeah, she's on the sixteenth hole right now. I the face, I wouldn't say he's quite the face, but he's the most exciting player on the team. I give I give you that. I think as long as the beat is there, they're gonna have him be be the, the marquee. I don't know. The best ability is availability. That's that, true. That part. That part. That's the part that 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 keeps 
making me hesitant to say like, oh, it should be MB, but it's like, dude, you be gone so much. Yeah. I it, Matt, she's a killer. It's a it's a um it's a good it's a good talking point, I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah. I mean, but MB is so fragile mentally though. Like if, if you do that to MB, MB's gonna ask to be traded. Oh uh, yeah. The game he had the other night though, man. The that fifty was, that or Matt that was ooh, Matt. Max. Oh, oh yeah, he had forty something. That was that was big time. Then twenty twenty something seconds. Yeah, yeah, that was big time. I was, was like, Max has just taken over the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid it just gave them a little false hope, though, for Philly fans to think they could win this series. They ain't winning it. I agree. They're not winning. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Too tough, man. That's, I, uh, Tom Thibodeau is—is is he feeding them? Feeding who? Is, is he? I, is because like he's starving them out. He feed them hot sauce. Feed them, <laughs> feed them, man. Tom Thibodeau got them, them guys like some rabbit dogs. Uh, yes, they are playing hard, and Br- I, I'm glad to see Brunson just thriving out. Like he had a little rough start to the series. Oh, but they get one or whatever. But now, rough. <laughs> rough. <laughs> he was terrible. I don't know how they win those games. Oh, uh, he was pathetic in the first part of the series. <laughs> he definitely was. And, and all kinds of food, man. He he yeah, takes he's shot. falling now. Oh yeah, he's gonna put up some shots. He's taking shots. Oh oh yeah, they going up. They definitely going up. They're expecting him to take those shots. Absolutely. He's got, with with Julius Randle out, he's got to take those shots. Yeah, I forgot all about him. And, well, they're better without him. <laughs> definitely, they That's are. Yeah, they you really know, are. And then Mitchell Robinson are playing. You know, they're playing be- bigger roles now that he's out, and uh. They're actually better without them because those guys don't demand the ball as much. Mm-hmm. And, and they stay in their role and play good D and play with fire. Yep. Yeah. Randall, Randall got he got too much lucre at him. He likes to hold the ball for the entire shot clock. Uh, yeah. And I, I like OG. OG is the, the – OG is the – oh, he's God. a glue piece for them. But like, yeah. I love OG. He was a perfect, perfect person to come to, to a typical team. Yeah, absolutely. He like, perfect in the team in particular. Exactly. How about the way the fans though are like doing, turning out in Philly? Them Philly fans ought to be embarrassed. How is it a pro Nick <laughs> arena in? I would be pissed off <laughs> if I was playing. They I'm are- like, are you kidding me? You know they fickle, Branson, Instead of that, instead of that, guys, what in the world? Woo. How embarrassing! MB right. went off too. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the East, I mean, Indiana took care of the Bucks. You know, I mean that. I don't even know how the Bucks won two games. <laughs> they were like holding on by tissue paper and glue and everything. That's a miracle. <laughs> right, a miracle from above, and Miami had no business winning the game either against the Celtics, but it, that did uh, well. So I, I feel that's gonna be next round stuff. We'll see what what the what the they're all about. Whatever. I I know in the off season, I don't know what these guys are gonna do. Like you know what what are what are teams like the Lakers and Phoenix, Milwaukee. You know those yeah. teams. What what do they do in the off season? That's a good question. Because I, to me, they Milwaukee. Mm, they're in a bad spot. They're in a bad spot, man. Coaching wise, yeah, they're in a bad spot. The Celtics are just far superior than they are, and then now you got other teams that are just they yeah. can't beat Indiana. For some reason, 
<laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Indiana killed them. Yeah, <laughs> they got the number. They can't. They can't handle them. Then you got the young ones. Oh yeah, we got the Cleveland Magic series. Them yeah. young teams. They got some young guns on uh, both of them. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. They up and coming. I, I, I don't. I don't know what those those teams do. Like the Lakers. What do they do? I don't know. That's. <laughs> Do do you move on from LeBron, and and try to get you? A, well, I heard that they're coming after um Trey Young. The phone is going to get in trouble. Who said really after Trey Young? Interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't. I would rather have Murray than Young if I was the Lakers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but if they like, well, how they going to pull that off? The Murray um, free agent. <laughs> What do you mean? Now nah, they're gonna pull that off. Get rid of D'Lo. They get rid of D'Lo. I would not swap the Nuggets. They gonna swap <laughs> D'Lo for Jamal for Jamal Murray. No, not not Jamal Murray. Oh, oh. wait, what Murray are you talking about? Who are you talking about? That's a was... Dejounte Murray. Oh, 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 I forgot. Yeah, on on, on Atlanta, right on there. The, Atlanta, Atlanta. Trey Young. Yeah. Yeah, I would rather have him over Trey. I really have him. Yeah, I really have him. Uh, Dante Murray, he he can actually play point guard, and uh, right, yeah, and he plays defense. Yeah, so uh, because they would need a well, solid. L.A. Point. They they like the grips to the glamour. They want somebody to shoot from half court, like Steph Curry. <laughs> well, and that's why they keep losing. But if, yeah, if Rob Palenka would get on his get on a real hat. That's who I would I would go after him instead of instead of Trey Young. But I think Atlanta they 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 want Trey gone, so he <laughs> the focal point to get rid of. They they want one or the other gone. For sure. Yep. <clears throat> I saw something interesting today that the Knicks are going to go all out for for Booker. Yeah, I, I heard all that too. I heard that. I, I heard Booker actually wants to go to New York. Ooh. Oh, really? I thought I they wonder who they were on like He is. Ter- he he's told some people in the circle that he wants to go to New York. Wow. I think you have to be Man. careful about who you're gonna unload to do that, because they got some good little pieces and stuff. But but if you that can make that happen, they go that court. You know who who they can. Swap for that is the very person we just were talking about. Randolph, is that, is that yeah, he'd Julius be Randolph. out of there. He would definitely yeah. be in that deal. Julius, he'd be out of there. It, they're like for like salaries now. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That would that would make that, yeah. That feels a need for for Phoenix, and it feels they a need, need some, <laughs> some 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 meat. Some they need some meat. Yeah, 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 they definitely do. Yeah, so huh, that'd be interesting. We, a, yeah, that'd be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting off season. I feel like in the NBA, it always is. Yeah, and these yeah, teams, they definitely. definitely have some decisions to make for sure. For sure, yeah. for sure. You got on, you got on that hat, brother, and it's making me think. Looking at that UNC, did y'all see? Did you see the the bill that the House bill is proposing for UNC and and NC State? No, no. So apparently, there's a bill, and it, North Carolina lawmakers they filed a bill that will force UNC and NC State to play either East Carolina, App State, or Charlotte every season in football and men's and women's basketball. And also ensure that the Tar Heels and the Wolfpack play each other each year because it's looking like the latest reports kind of see NC State move into the Big 12 in the future and Carolina move into the SEC. SEC, yeah. Uh huh. I don't know. If they, if they go to the Big 12, I didn't know that. What? Are you serious? <laughs> yep, so that's interesting. Oh, yeah, so I think it just, he's going to be like the Pac-12. They're about to be defunct. What is wrong with these 
What's wrong with these schools in the ACC? It's all about football. Yeah. I it's going to be – they get rid of conferences. It's going to be the end. The football is the money sport. You see the Big Ten, the Big 12. It's going to be three conferences, basically. Basically. Football, basically. It's the money sport, man. I, uh, that would just – I mean, that would kill so much of a ri- rivalry in, in the ACC, though. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be gone. Then that's why they have this bill. <laughs> Look, I, it's so important that even lawmakers are trying to make a bill to protect the robbery, to make sure that conference realignment doesn't, you know, stop this that, robbery, a home and away series between them from going on. That That is wild. It just begs the question, like, what are we doing here? I don't understand what we're doing here. Like, we're already making all these California schools have to go way across country. Oh, all these country. trips. That's not going to last. You know it's not going to last. They can't financially do that for, you know, for, uh, for so long. They're not making that much money in football to do that and keep all it's, the sport. It, evidently, they are. I don't know how. I don't know either. I, I'm Because the agency's packed. Because... They're trying to leave the ACC because of the TV deal, because the TV deal yep. pales in comparison to the SEC and the Big and the Big yep. Ten. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know, give it. Oh, in the next five years, everything is just going to look so different. Yeah, it's going to be totally different. It's going to be the wild, wild west, <laughs> literally. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. What is this antitrust lawsuit? from NIL that's going on right now. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen anything about that. I I saw something on the ticker about it. I I just didn't, I didn't know if you guys had, had read anything much on it. I just looked up real quick. It says the NCAA could pay more than two point seven billion to settle an antitrust <laughs> to settle antitrust lawsuits. Mm. Wow. Oh, it's going down, and I and you see that UAB joined the, the players' league, so the NCAA is about to be obsolete. The U, UAB mm. has started wow. the, the ball rolling. Trent Dilfer is ahead of the game. Yep, so the NCAA payments would be paid to former college athletes who say they were illegally prevented from making money by selling the rights to their name, image, and likeness. Oh, NCAA is about to be gone. Bye, y'all. Woo. They come out. I do. What's this? Seven, NIL? Seven, what's seven, this all? Seven. What's those dollars really started rolling with this NIL? You know, people were coming like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can go to recoup this money. Retribution. Well, please. You know, some snake was out there creaming money off of, of these deals anyway. I don't. You know it. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, uh, you the just... NCAA is the snake. The NCAA was taking all the money. Yeah. And they say the plain yeah, the plaintiffs in this case, they argue that the NCAA is breaking the law by placing any restrictions on how athletes monetize their name, image, and likeness. And the case is scheduled to go to trial January 2025. If the NCAA loses the case at trial, it could owe athletes more than four billion in damages. They better settle. When I saw Reggie Bush get that prize for trophy back, I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You knew. I said, boy, the, the tide has changed. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is trouble now. <laughs> that's so true, because that's something that I wasn't sure we would ever see. Exactly. Like, you know, actually get, get get to keep it, get it back. Right. Yeah. Well, who boy, they got a lot to watch out for right now. Definitely. Well, we'll keep our eye on that. Anything strike y'all with the, the NFL draft? Cowboys suck. What were the Cowboys thinking? <laughs> we didn't they did draft did they draft the running back? What? back. What? Because y'all got a ZQ Elliott back. Ah uh, boy. Uh, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Zeke said he is ready. There's unfinished business. Zeke can't even put one foot in front of the other. What what are you talking about? 
Jeez. <laughs> we, I we don't even know. Who did y'all? So we had say? opportunity to get Derrick Henry. I I just knew that was going to happen. But then whenever Baltimore did it, I was like, oh, well. And we and we let him go to go to Baltimore. Mm-hmm. That was really their the, the downfall. They were trying to give Derrick Henry away. They wouldn't. They wouldn't even take him. And then we ended up losing Pollard to the team that that was trying to give Derrick Henry away. Exactly. Y'all continue. Someone is knocking at the door. Hold on. And then we lost everybody on the defensive side of the ball to the Redskins. No, they, they did. Had, they did a great job. Commanders had an excellent draft. They got a they got a monster of a quarterback, Jaden yeah. Dan, on a, going to do do work for them. I mean, shoot, they they had what eight picks in that draft, and they all of them were solid. Yeah, they hit, and they're working up and down that draft. They got and they hit on everything in that draft, offense and defense, offense and defense. And they ended up stealing some of they they stole Bobby Wagner from us. Who else did they get from us? Oh, did they? I don't have Bobby Wagner. Yeah, they got like they took like three players from us. Get out of here. I have returned. We're talking about what Washington did. What I what I was talking to um Carlin about was, you know, not only did they have a good draft, but you know, they they got like three of our three defensive players from uh, the Cowboys. They got Bobby Wagner and a, a few other other guys. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, oh, that's wow. The, and they got some really good like good players on defense. They got a, one of the best defensive tackles of the draft. They got one of the best corners of the draft. And they got corner. Yeah, we got like two or three court, top corners of the draft. Yeah, they got uh, Luke McCaffrey. So they have a McCaffrey on the team. <laughs> and they got more, just a bunch of defense. Like they needed some defense, defensive players more than anything. Yeah, so they, got they did. Linebackers and tackles. You know, but they, they, they showed like, up the line like a fat rat, man. They, they did. They did their thing. And here we, here we were just. Oh man, sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick for you. I'm like, what are they doing? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Jerry Jones did nothing. Now he, now you know the cowboy cowboys have always been no, known to have a bell cow for a running back. That's always, always that's always what, what we were known for. Now we're going to running back by committee with these little yeah. stuff. And you got nothing. You got nothing running out there now. And that's what you need to take the pressure pressure off of the passing game. You can't pass for a championship. Sorry. Oh. And not with that. That's you true. Going to have C.D. Lamb, Mama, cussing him out again. Okay. And sorry, across the – and then the Eagles didn't do anything but get stronger. Oh, they always draft. Top of the they league. They had a great drive. They yes. get on my nerves, man. They, they had a killer draft. Not only an awesome draft, but an awesome offseason. Yes, the moves they've been making. Yes. Jeez. Yeah. We went back. Everybody got better. Oh, yeah. Everybody got better except us in that division. Even, That's true. Even the Giants did better than we did. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the Giants had a solid draft, too. They really did. That's true. Poor things. Poor things. I, I, I'm i sorry. I'm sorry for you, brother. You already, well, at least you know what the season's going to be. Yeah, I, I, I don't even There's no hope. <laughs> <laughs> we, won't, we won't continue to crush your dreams because you, you look kind of sad over there. I'm feeling kind of bad. I'm starting to feel emotional. Yeah, there's no hope. I'm I'm just hoping that the Yankees do something for me this year. <laughs> they started off like gangbusters. We'll see. I was curious on another. All right, 
Botson. What did y'all think about Ryan Garcia testing positive? He's a cheater. The water boy is a cheater. After the big upset win, like what happens? The water boy is a cheater. The water the boy boxer, is a cheater. <laughs> is that now tainted his win over Mr. Devin Haney? Yep. Absolutely. He cheated and got caught. I, they all cheat, but you can't get caught. It was so funny because I was just watching Ryan Garcia and like with Dion and stuff, and they was having that moment and doing all this stuff. And and you know, he's just been around everywhere. He's been on everything. And I feel yeah. like he's kind of like all up in the culture right now. And now you're a cheetah. But you're a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> you suck again. You're a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheetah. Doping, doping, doping. But speaking of Dion, did y'all see the, the that little fire? What was that about? Well, I caught the tail end of it. Why did he and Shadur do do that young man like that? Uh, who who I don't, I, I don't like? I don't like this. I'm sorry. I'm coming. I'm knocking on the door. We we come out here, uh, Mister <laughs> Mister Sanders. Can y'all please explain to me what happened? I, I, I'm catching the tail end of it. Yeah. So the one of one, I think it was a, a DB, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's a DB. Yes, I can't remember his name right now. I think it's Ward. Oh, no, wait. Was it Ward? It was Ward. I forget. It's Ward, okay. yeah. <laughs> so whenever he was, he had some things to say pretty much about Dion. And saying like how like he basically saying like Dion would take your confidence away, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and stuff. And, he, and as you, he was leaving and then transferring out or whatnot. Uh, so he's a former player. Yes, from Colorado. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so then Shadur got into it, and also one of the fellow. Fellow receiver, one of the other receivers or whatever on Colorado got into it. But Shadura okay. posted basically it said, Bro had to be very mid at best. I was like, Ugh. Dang. Dang. Then yeah, I, I don't even know who it was. Yeah, he just said, Bro, like, I don't even know who you are <laughs> on this team. I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, this, it, it, all right, I found the, the quotes. That's what it says. Former Colorado safety Xavier Smith told the Athletic. Okay, yeah, so it was two instances. That's what it was. So former Colorado safety Xavier Smith told the Athletic in a story published Monday that Deion Sanders never even tried to get to know me and that he was destroying guys' confidence and belief in themselves. And then so Shadur to this, and this is a former Colorado safety he he was like, he didn't even remember who Smith was. And he said, bro had to be very mid at best. Wow. Then you have Colorado receiver Caleb Mathis posted a video of himself getting the better of Smith in a practice last spring. <laughs> and when he did that, that tweet led to, what did it say? Oh, okay, he posted a video of him himself getting the better of Smith in a practice last spring to which Smith's Austin P teammate, Jaheim Ward, noted that Mathis had just 38 receiving yards last season. So they tried to clown Mathis after he posted about Smith, and one of the Austin P teammates was like, look, you only had 38 receiving yards last season. <laughs> then that tweet led to Ward's career stats at the FCS school having 36 tackles over the past three seasons getting posted. And that prompted then Dion to weigh in. And he, all he said was Lord Jesus above the screenshot. I thought the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Uh-huh, when it was just showing Ward stats, but only having 36 tackles over the past um, three seasons. And I was like, Dion, why are you getting in this and taking shots and stuff at these players? Like in, in stuff in this beef, I, but then, did you see what else he said? What else he say? Because one of the parents said just what you said. Why are you taking shots at the kids? 
and he said something about, well, my son is going. Oh yes, top, top five in the draft. Where's yours? Where's going? yours going? And he was like, I got time today. And oh, LOL, Lord have mercy. I got time. I'm waiting. LOL. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's prime time for a reason, baby. How you gonna do that, Prime? Don't do them people like that. Right. I'm like, I, I just don't like like even if he told the truth and you get the better, like, ooh, let it stick. But no. When you're at a certain level, like, why are you even engaging? I was back to that. Yeah, I kind of I kind of lost a little bit from him on that one. I did too. I didn't like that at all. Yeah. That was a bad look. <laughs> you just say, yeah, 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 Carl. <laughs> that is a horrible look. D.I., you know, well, D.I., he's not going to back down for anybody. So, I don't be, expect him to take this for he, He's normally better than that, though. He got to be better than that. Like, Shadur shouldn't even jump in it to begin with. Like, I get you want to protect your dad, I guess. That's going on and on. But the guys. Yeah. You have bugged the fray, man. Lead it. Right. Lead it. People going to hate just to try to get clicks and whatnot. Let them, let them do their thing. But I think it's even a better way to do what he tried to do. Like, you don't have to go and attack the guy in no. order to stick up for your dad. Like, you could just talk positive, you know. No, all you got to do is say, hey, we're looking to build a solid program. It, exactly. Okay. Some people aren't gonna yeah. aren't gonna be happy. Not everybody's gonna be happy, but we've got to keep it moving, moving forward, and moving in the right direction. That's, exactly. That's all you got to do. Honestly, I I think Dion's feeling a little pressure right now because I mean, everybody, a lot of people are leaving. Edwards everybody left. Had left. I know when Edwards I saw Edwards left. Edwards left. Stay. Yeah, so they yeah, but, are. In a pickle. It's just the way of the world, though. Now with the transfer, like everybody just be leaving everywhere. But everybody, everybody leaving. And, yeah, you know they going where money is at. Period. Period. Point blank. And Absolutely. Just about how many people left on uh, Duke basketball this year? Almost the whole squad. I know. And, and we had the same thing happen at Carolina. We did, but then, well, we had a change, even though Homeboy changed his mind. Seth Trim- Mr. Trimble, he yeah. changed, and he's back. RJ he's came, he didn't. Yeah, and RJ is back. He's back for his fifth year. I mean, he might as well go ahead and make that NIL money because you weren't getting drafted. You ain't going to get, you ain't gonna get no- <laughs> Right. <laughs> You'll be in the G League somewhere. Exactly. I would stay for a fifth year, too, if I had that and be able to, because he's going to, Oh, he is going to kill in NIL. You bet. Get, yeah. You bet millions in the NIL. Uh-huh. Very smart move. Hey, y'all, y'all thought we got the guy from Belmont, too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Trump Carolina Trump. make it. He might be making some good pickups in that portal. He does. Some key pieces, so we'll see what happens. Definitely we uh, get, there. We need a, a stud. A lot of stud. <laughs> we do. But not well, since we at college, not basketball, I was curious what y'all was feeling about these college protests going on. It is like it's massive now. There now have been more than 2,000 arrests going on with students protesting. I don't know if y'all y'all saw the footage of what was happening out there in UCLA, like all that violence and stuff going on. For me, I'm just like at this point. I don't even know what people are protesting anymore. I feel like everything is lost. Like, oh, and there's, you know, you you having all kinds of stuff. Palestinians protesting. All, I don't know. So it was supposed to be about the genocide and stuff happening in Gaza, going on. You know the and you know that people are saying that happened that Israel is the corporate yeah. of. It was happening, but design this out here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's it's just turning something beyond I don't know what it originally was supposed to be. I was listening to Al Sharpton and I agree with something he said because he was like when the protest starts becoming about the people and not the cause, it's lost. 
And it was like, no one even knows what what's going on anymore because it's all about people now. The baby yeah. is still in that other story. And dying over in Palestine. And nobody's talking right. about that. No. All I'm no. saying is people getting knocked down in these protests. I just <laughs> That's all. And and you get you got the pro Palestinians and the pro Israel people. They're both like doing stupid stuff to me. Like they're like, what are y'all fighting? Like it doesn't make any sense. We're living over here in the U.S. Why are y'all fighting each other over? I I don't know. I'm just so confused in my brain. I don't understand this at all. Yeah. Why why are we worried about it? And I'm like, do you know how, and it sucks to say it, I'm trying to think how to say it, but it's not like the first time genocide has happened. You know how much, like, like oh, I don't understand. Stuff going on in Sudan all the time. That's been happening for decades. Nobody's talking about it. Right. It's like they're so, picking shoes what they want to be outraged about. That's the part I'm confused, because I don't understand, like, what, and I only say that, too, to say, because I don't understand what all this loud noise is going to do to stop it. I'm gonna tell you yeah. what it is, brother. It's it's the ploy. It's an uh, anti Biden person behind this because they know that this is nothing but good for Trump. It's like 1968 again when they had the Vietnam War protests and people doing crazy stuff that helped. And that's when your boy Joe Scarborough said his parents switched from Democrats to yeah, Republicans. Exactly. It's like history repeating itself. It's an uh, anti Biden. People are behind this, basically, trying to swing this ele- election for Trump. It's a bigger, it's a bigger story it's than what it is. Just an analysis, yeah. Like, huh? It's, I, it's, 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 these are professionals. These it, it's kids involved, yeah. But at the top of the chain are professional agitators that are pushing this way past what these kids. I think had good attention, good attentions to begin with, but it got hijacked. Because they didn't know how to to have a revolution. That's what I'm wondering. If it's like hijack right now, because it's hijack right now. Absolutely. It's it's tough. It's one of those countries over there, over overseas, is behind this. So that I mean, I think they were talking about maybe Qatar or somebody, because Qatar gives a lot of a lot of money to to colleges in the United States. But it's somebody overseas that's driving this, trying to radicalize these. These kids are young and impressionable, so it's easy yeah. for them to 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 be swayed. And it's turned into like weird political arguments of a right versus left thing. And then that I don't know if y'all saw the incident that happened at UNC, where I guess somebody like took down the American flag and put up a Palestinian flag, and then right. like the, this frat like when and I guess protected the American flag or something and was like hoisting it back up. And now it's like this huge GoFundMe that's raised all these thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars for this frat, <laughs> these frat boys. That you Every day's a grip. So you got to grip, 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 grip. That's what this country is about. It's Jeez. so crazy that all these Republicans are shouting all this. I like how did a, America like how did the flag and anti America and I don't how did all these arguments even get into it? It was this? probably somebody the frat that did it, not even gonna get paid for it. <laughs> it's wild, but they're canceling classes. I tell you, I wish Elise would talking about like if my pants. <laughs> Twenty some thousand dollars for you to be up in college. He talk about some. I'm a camp out. I ain't going to class. I ain't taking my finals. I ain't doing. It. I wish you would. Go upside that. <laughs> uh, well, you owe me ten thousand seven hundred fifty five dollars <laughs> for this decision. Right. Make it payable too. Make okay. it payable too. I went like I don't know, but. We're in a weird point right now because the one that I'm like, it's dangerous. This whole arresting thing and doing this stuff because what's happening to, you know, pro, you can't take away people's ability to protest. Like you just can't. No, no. Now I understand arrests if things get violent, but I've like LJ, you know, he tested me 
and was talking about on his campus in Wisconsin, he was like, people were just sitting out on the quad, and then they came out and was arresting people. Oh my goodness. Like, that's a little crazy. Yeah, Florida was doing something crazy like that, too, saying, this is not a daycare, this is a college, so yeah. let's start arresting people. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a problem when people go too far. And when cops get involved with these this kind of, type, kind of stuff, it's always a sticky situation. And why do they have, like, some places have been having, like, sharpshooters and stuff around or whatever, or just having, like, I'm like, what is going on? I don't know. It's been, it's, it's, it's all over everywhere. All these kids. Uh, it's, it's sticky. It really is sticky, but I like what you said. With, with, you know, that is an impressionable age. Carline dropped some gems then, man. Yeah. Some gems. And I feel like people, they, some of these kids about to be wrapped up. Some people going to have a record now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm graduating from college, but, you know, I'm a felon. Can I still get a job? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Been a Buddy Hills sighting. What? He's alive. What is going on? They are. I don't know what just happened. Philadelphia is going to win tonight. Yeah, you see. uh, Look at that. They done took the lead over. Yep. Buddy Hill went off the second quarter. Well, like it might. This could go seven. It could. It could be. He ain't had but two points. This He's been terrible. Tonight. He has 14 so far. I yeah. remember, bro, uh, Cameron, you were saying something about you were betting for Buddy Hill and you were never going to bet on him again. I sure you did. On him tonight. I, I should have. I should have, but I stayed away. I'm like, I'm not messing with this. No, I th- no, actually, I did play a Philly bet, I think. I had to look back. And I think I played something on Matsy, and it looks like he only has two points so far. What is yeah, he doing? God. I should know better. After an explosion, usually yeah, that was that... always a, a letdown of that game. My God. <laughs> I've seen this story a million times, and I fought, and I fell for it. Why, I don't you... know how to dig it down. Why? No. Oh, oh well. Well, we'll see how this the the sisters are up at the half by uh, three. Josh Buddy, Hart Slipper. Buddy Hill. It is the Josh Hart. Y'all see Josh Hart is slipping. Yeah. Well, I need your predictions, brother. So next week when we come back, we're gonna see who's right. Who's gonna win this series? Knicks or Sixers? Sixers. I'm going Knicks. Knickerbockers. All right, two against one. Let's see who's going to be right. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Anything else on y'all mind before we wrap up? Only thing I'll say is can't wait to see what the WNBA is going to do. Yes. They have started preseason and Miss Caitlin Clark in the preseason game in Dallas, first preseason game is sold out. So. I'm glad you brought that out because I, I had that on my mind. I totally forgot that the, the preseason starts tomorrow. And if I – the Caitlin Clark stuff, it just keeps increasing it's and increasing, increasing and We're increasing. Have some conversations about this. And about Candace Parker, our cousin, retiring. Yes. Yes. Yes, I was going to mention that. You stole my happy trails, brother. Happy trails to Candace, our yeah. cousin. Great and the disrespect, Candace. though, I was I I was not feeling the disrespect out of all them comments to Candace Parker's retirement announcement. I said, I'm going to shut off Instagram and start reading. It's about, I just oh, it. Caitlin, Clark are, Caitlin Clark are already running you away. She already running people out of the league. Stop it. Oh, my goodness. I can't. <laughs> I just want to. <laughs> I would not even I give wanted... that even an ounce of credibility. Whenever uh, over 50% it. of the comments are about Caitlin Clark under <laughs> a Candace Parker's 
retirement <laughs> announcement and everything she has done highlights. for this game. Show the highlights. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. It's going to be insufferable this season. Like, it, it's going to be a long WNBA season. Yeah. It's only going to get worse. But we're going to get into that. We're going to get into some of that in this podcast for sure. Yeah. And have a whole cake. Because we have to. We, yeah. But, yeah, preseason is here. Already sold out. That's amazing. <laughs> the one girl on that team, did y'all see? She said how we used to play in the barn, and now we play in the sold-out arenas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying, though. Crazy. <laughs> they make a first class trip now, baby. They think out of the first class. Thank you, Caitlin. Uh huh. Everybody, <laughs> everybody getting a piece of the pie. Yeah, they 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 love her. And the thing is, the most popular honest, girl. Me, it is nothing. I have no problem with Caitlin. It is the fans. It's oh, the, the fans total. It's it the is people. the people and the reaction, like. We'll see if I end up having a problem with Caitlyn, but right now I don't. And you know who the crowd is that follow him. I, I don't have to say it. <laughs> but God bless him. <laughs> we definitely <laughs> get that. <laughs> okay. We know the crowd. Yeah, yeah, we definitely do. Well, it's been real, brothers. And Absolutely. let's enjoy the second half. This has been a Rosie B production. You can follow The Parker's Couch on YouTube and TikTok at The Parker's Couch. You can follow Cameron on Instagram, CDParker03 and Carlin Parker, Carlin 1978. And on Facebook under Cameron Parker and Carlin Parker. <laughs>